Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this dynamic landscape in Unreal Engine. So let's start. First I want to say this is not my landscape. I didn't create it. A big shout out to Tommy Tran for creating this. I will describe how this works and then what we can do to improve this. And also we add snow later. Okay. So the first thing is render targets. What the RT capture is, so we basically have a top-down view of the map and where we walk, these trails are generated and we need those trails for landscape deformation later. And you can adjust the size here, but 256 by 256 works okay for me. And if you set it higher, it costs more performance. Now let's go to the RT persistent. It's just a PNG image and it gets generated from the RT capture and it's the change. So if an actor is not moved, there's no change and it stays the same. But if an actor is moved, then we have this persistent texture that gets generated. Now let's go back to the materials. We have this landscape material that is very, very important. At first it looked like this just a white material and what I have done for more realism is I added a normal map here with some tiling so it is smaller and connect this to the normal. Also you can add textures and a ground color. Of course you can make this more white or how you like it. And then you have this whole setup here. This is for the displacement and also the RT capture. How this works is the landscape is displaced by this value of 20 and then this RT capture is generated and when we walk the landscape displacement gets set to its base value zero. So if you want higher snow you can set a higher value or if you want high grass or something and if you want to make a desert set a low value because the sand is not so high and then you can save this material. Okay and for the next step let's create a material for our snow and call this snow material and let's go into that. Now press three and left click at the same time, go into this constant three vector and set it to white. This goes into the base color and now we need a little setup because we want a gradient texture. So search for radial gradient exponential. This is it. Then click one and left click for this node, convert to parameter and let's name this R for radius and copy and paste this and let's set it to D for density with a value of 5 and a radius of 0 0.5 and for the next step let's add a particle color. This is if you want to have multiple particles like ash or different sand particles, I don't know, then multiply this. So this base value with this value of the radial gradient exponential and this goes into the emissive, then copy and paste this and the alpha gets multiplied again and this goes into the opacity. One thing you have to do is set this to translucent and then it works. Okay, and it looks like this. Of course, you can make another material with snowflake textures or something, but this will work fine too. And now we just need to create the particles. So right click and go to particle system. And let's call the snow particles. Go into that. And first we need to assign the snow material we made. Then we can go to spawn and we have a constant rate of 20. Let's set it higher to something like 2000 and this should work fine. Also the shaders are compiling at the moment so we can see the particles. And then the next step, go to lifetime and this is how long your particles live. So they get spawned and deleted. And let's set a minimum value of six and a maximum value of seven. Okay, then the initial size will be very small. So let's set it to six, 
6 and 6 and then 5, 5 and 5 for the minimum values and then we need velocity so they fall down and let's set the velocity to 200, 200 and minus 350 and then minus 200, minus 200 and minus 200. Okay, let's actually set it a bit higher. Okay, this is nice. And then we need to add a initial location so they are higher. We don't need color over life. And let's set this to 2000 by 2000 by 50 and the minimum value to minus 2000 by minus 2000 by 50. Okay, so if you want them to spawn in a bigger area, you can adjust those numbers. And for more turbulence, we are gonna add a rotation, initial rotation, and let's go into that and set a maximum value of five. Now, the last thing is we need type data, GPU sprites, and let's set the bounds and view them. And yeah, it looks very nice and we can save this. Then just drag this into your map and adjust the height a little bit. Okay, this should be fine. And now you can play your map. Pretty easy and you have nice snow. Of course, everything is adjustable. And I will show you the same thing with a desert now. So let's just switch this color make it like sand okay save this and let's set the displacement to a small value like four and save this of course you could add another normal map because this is not like desert but it's okay for now and let's switch those particles out so not white but let's make them yellow dark Kind of like this. And a radius of 0 0.3 and save this. Okay, so it looks like this, pretty nice. And now let's go into the particle system and adjust the velocity. And also I set a smaller size, 3, 3, 3 and 2, 2, 2. And let's get more particles also. 4000 and save this. Okay, this is the same for the desert. And again, the tutorial files from Tommy Train are in the description and the full files are on my Patreon. I hope you liked this video. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.